So I wanted to make this video because I'd see everyone just using the migrate option between Unreal Engine to get their stuff from one project to another project. And it's just not the most efficient way. There is an asset manager that no one talks about. So I'm just going to go over it really quick, show you how to set it up and then show you the absolute basics. There is loads of features inside this asset manager. So you'll have to go and discover some things for yourself. But I do think it'll be of value to you if you manage assets between projects using Unreal Engine all the time. So let's just jump into it. We've got a new option to export assets to connector. And what happens is no matter what project we open, we can right click and click load in open GUI project connector by design connected. And you'll see here it's a digital asset manager but it has a plugin for Unreal Engine that allows us to save our assets with all its dependencies in a certain type of file format that they use. And that's the only kind of negative to this is that you they package it in their file format once you save it for Unreal Engine specifically, but it does allow you to manage and save your assets and not have to migrate your assets between projects. So I'll just show you the kind of setup process. Once you download this, they'll see up here, that you can come to integrations the very top and you click unreal engine integration installer so they've already got the 5.3 version of the plugin out so we'll click manual install we click 5.3 and it's going to pop up where do you want the plugin to go to in unreal engine so it'll normally be under c program files epic games ue 5.3 engine plugins and then once you have it there, you're going to click select folder. And then that's that. So now all we have to do is start up Unreal Engine. So we'll just bring this down for a second and we'll start Unreal. So now once we've come into our blank level, after setting up the integration in connector, you'll have to come up to edit plugins and search for connector. And once we've enable the plugin you'll see now if we right click on an asset in our content browser we've got a new option to export assets to connector and if we click this right now you'll see what folder does it want to save it to select a folder so let's say we'll make a new library here we'll just underneath downloads even for now and we'll make a new folder and we'll just call it asset test just to show you and now what happens is if we open up our folders under downloads you'll see we have asset test and we have this new type of file called the CUAP file. This is the file that it's packaged. So it's got all the dependencies. So if it's a blueprint and it's got other things linked to it, like let's say you have the ultra dynamic sky and you wanted to save that as an asset. Well, this will package all of its dependencies in one single file that can be then managed by connector. So now that we have this in this downloads asset folder, when we open up connector and it says asset export to connector do you want to add the folder click yes it'll automatically add the folder and here is the folder here you can also just add custom folders by clicking this little plus icon and what happens is no matter what project we open we can right click and click load in open GUI project on any single asset so if you have LUTs or you have lighting setups or you have foliage or you have anything like that there and you want consistently use it across different projects this is one of the best ways of doing it so if i want asset previews as well like i've got a couple of things i've imported here that i just might want to save so this is the arcviz interior pack volume three it's on the marketplace but let's say i have this asset here and i wanted to save this well i can just right click on it click export asset to connector i can come to my asset drive come to my unreal asset library and I can set this in let's say we want to make a new folder called doors so once we click doors we can save it in there it'll export out I can even bring out this bed and put that into the bed folder if I want so with the bed these aren't my assets now these are available on the marketplace for free they were so export assets to connector again this time I'll go back and maybe I want to add one here called beds so I'll add a folder, put the file in there, it'll export out, and then I can load it into any project from that beds folder. And you'll see here, if we go over to connector again, and we come to the Unreal Asset Library to beds, you'll see here that we get a preview as well, and we can even zoom in. 
with the preview automatically added. If you want to add custom previews, you can right click, click add custom previews and you can select more images. So let's say I want to add another custom preview or I don't like that image. I can click delete custom preview now. Yeah, remove, it's got no custom preview. And then I could just take a screenshot from here if I wanted, I wanted more of this angle. And then I save it. And now that I have the custom preview, I come back to my bed, I right click, click add custom preview, get my bed image. And now I have a custom preview like that. So if you found this useful, leave a comment, ask a question, drop us a like, see what's up. There's going to be plenty more little workflow guides, tips and tricks like this coming in the future. So stay tuned if you do like stuff like this and I'll see you in the next one.